Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to do the beach sand. In the previous tutorial, we have done the seawater. And in this tutorial, I plan on making the sand. And in the upcoming tutorials, I am planning on making the animation. So for this tutorial, we are going to focus on the sand. But again, before we begin, I just want to say thank you to everyone on the Golden Spoon tier list. You guys are always appreciated. And if you have any requests, you could always mention them on the Discord. But now let's actually get started. Okay, so we have our scene here, back where we left it off in the last tutorial. And I'm just going to bring in a BSDF, a basic one. So, we start off with adding a noise texture and a color ramp. So, this is basically going to be the sand particles on the beach. So, the scale of this uh, noise texture should be very high. I'm going to set it around 800 right now. But um, later on, I'm, I'm going to set it around 1400. If your PC can handle it, the smaller, the better. You must just be able to see the difference in colors. So in the color ramp, I'm going to make the colors very light brown and kind of light peach. This I'm going to plug into a mixed color and I'm going to add a Voronoi texture at the bottom with another color ramp and Control T that Voronoi texture so we can play with the mapping coordinates. I set that mixed color to add and this Voronoi is basically going to be the white lines or streaks that the water has on the beach. So these white streaks uh, you can make by scaling the Voronoi down on the Y axis and then I'm going to also make the scale of the Voronoi texture quite small because you want a lot of uh, streaks on the sand. So this side will be the wet part of the sand and I'm now going to make the texture for the dry part. Uh, so that is going to have another mixed color uh, set to mix this time and to the factor node I'm going to plug a gradient texture and make the basic gradient notary so that we can make the dry sand come from the bottom and the wet sign should be coming from the top because that's where the sea is so the, the sea is making the sand kind of wet you know so the black is going to represent the dry sand so i'm just going to make that um like so just the black is going to be how far you want the dry sand to be and the white represents the wet sand I actually notice now that I have to bring the wet sand to the bottom socket of the mixed color just so that um, the dry sand can be at the bottom. So now I'm going to make a simple notary for the dry sand. So just duplicate your noise texture notary and then change the colors just a little bit so I made mine a bit more brown. Plug that into the mixed color and there we go. So now we have our different difference in colors. It does look very bright now but once you plug it into the uh, BSDF it's going to be kind of dark. So let's plug that in and see how it looks. And there. And as you can see, if we play with the roughness slider, it makes the wet sand darker. So we can add a control uh, note through just a, another gradient shader. Plug that into the roughness and then set the black where the wet side is and the white slider to where the dry texture is. So now all we need to do is change the color of the black to maybe a gray and then plug the mapping node that separates the dry and wet textures into the roughness notary as well because when you animate the wet of the sand you want to be able to control both at the same time otherwise you'll have to be editing the wet texture one side and then you'd have to edit the roughness texture separately. But now it's going to be editable in the same node. But that is basically our sand texture. I'm going to edit it just a little bit 
so that it is more organized and more appealing because the shader is still going to get bigger. So the more organized you can be, the better. To combine the two textures, the water texture and the sand texture, I brought in a mix shader, plug both textures into the mix shader, and then we are going to make a separate notary that divides both textures appropriately. You could also separate the C texture onto a different plane, but that would only be useful if you want to make the water texture interact with maybe a character or something and not the sand. But for now, I don't have a character, so I don't need to separate the textures. So make a, a gradient notary again, and then flip the black to where the C should be, and flip the white to where the sand should be. After doing that, bring in a combine XYZ node, because we are going to animate this mapping texture's location at the same time while animating um, the foam texture for the C. We are going to make the foam texture in a different tutorial, but uh, once we make that, it, we should be able to animate it together with the water texture because we want the foam to be at the forefront of the sea. Otherwise, we'd have to animate it separately. The reason why we don't give the foam the same mapping node as this gradient texture because we are going to play around with the scale of this gradient. So plug in a noise texture in the scale of the mapping node and then bring a mix color and a color ramp because we want to change the edges of the C to make it not a formal line, we want to make it kind of bumpy. So now I'm just going to fine tune the entire shader, rotate the C to the angle I want, and change the scaling of this noise texture so it's not so chaotic. And there we go, and that is basically the beach texture. Um, the next tutorial I'm going to show how to make um, the foam and the highlights in the sea. And then the last one should be about animating. But that is it for now, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. But before we conclude this tutorial, I just want to give a shout out to the Confimog channel. And I hope you guys can support him and learn from his wonderful videos. That is it for today for me. See you in the next one. Alright, bye.